What's up guys, welcome back to the channel T-Baggy Gibbon here, hope you are doing well. What I've got for you today is something just a little bit slightly different. A little bit of advice for you, if you're getting a bit bored with Call of Duty and just playing the same game modes over and over again, you want to give this a bit of a try. If you just type in, in Google, in your Google search bar, Black Ops 3 Random Class Generator. And what you let it do is you just let it generate a random class, and you can put in the, uh, the level that you're at. And it'll give you a gun to use, it'll give you your perks that you use, your score streaks that you use, etc, so on and so forth. And what you're watching in the background is basically my random class generation uh, highlights of three games that I played. And I had a real good time doing it. In the first one that you can see, I'm using the VMP and I'm using the Man of War. In the second one, Gibbon does some sniping. Just a little bit. I actually went positive. But I'm not a sniper by any stretch of the imagination. And in the last game, you're going to see me using the XR2 uh, to quite good effect. They're not beastly gameplays by any stretch of the imagination, but what I wanted to do was effectively just bring you something a little bit slightly different than the norm. Or look at my TDM and look at this really great score. Or look at my domination and look how well I did. Look at the points that I scored in domination. What I actually wanted to do was just bring something a little bit different, um, obviously utilising... Black Ops 3, but making use of this uh, random class generator thing. I encourage anybody, just give it a go because it will throw up some absolute knee wobblers for you. It will also give you your specialist that you need to use. I was lucky every each time that I did it, it gave me Seraph with combat focus. Um, sometimes you might not get any perks. Sometimes you might get really strange attachments. Um, I know on one of them, the attachments that I got were like, uh, what did I get? Extended mags and FMJ, which I got on the VMP. And, oh dear God, if you haven't got stock on a... I'm used to using stock on a weapon. And if you haven't got stock on a weapon, you do notice it. And it is quite brutal when you are trying to do it. Um, the maps that I do it on are... Do you know, I can't remember what the first freaking map is that I do it on. It's one of the DLC maps anyways. Uh, the second map is Spire, and the third map that I uh, do it on is Fringe. Fringe is one of my favourite maps, actually. It's one of my go-to maps. Uh, the reason that I thought that I'd give this a try, as I said, you can get a bit stale. And I think one of the problems that I've had with Black Ops 3 recently is that I've found that it's been getting just a little bit stale. So I wanted to try something a little bit different. And I found it really enjoyable, and I just wanted to bring you, like I said, the highlights of this, just to sort of demonstrate just the differences that you can actually do um, and just the little things and just to test yourself and challenge yourself because you're already you get good at the game and you get good at certain attachments certain perks that you run um, certain score streaks that you run and certain specialists that you use so I think it's really good to try and test yourself and just to try and just do something a little bit different and see if you can still come out on top now obviously when I was sniping I didn't do quite as well as what I wanted to do. I actually went positive, so like I said, I, you know, I was chuffed at that one. That was that worked out quite well. But I managed to come in at least the top three using these absolutely ridiculous classes. You get stupid stuff like um, uh, like a, uh, an SMG with a Varix on it. Um, but it, what it also does as well is, is it shows you different attachments and different ways that things can work. It's like with the VMP with the laser sight. actually worked quite well. Uh, I did try another game on uh, Redwood as well. That one I had the dingo. What was what was the attachments? Extended extended mag and suppressor. Oh my god, that gun jumped all over the place. I managed to do kind of all right. In, I think I came third in that one in TDM. We won the match, but it took me literally like half the game just to get used to it and just to get used to the recoil on the actual gun itself. So. I found it a little bit difficult, but it wasn't too bad. But like I said, this was really good fun for me, just to do something a little bit different. And don't cheat on it. You have to go with whatever class that it generates for you, uh, just to try, just for a laugh, and just to see what you can do. And I was kind of inspired by Optic uh, Scumpy because uh, I've seen a couple of videos that he's done of random. They, he's entitled them random, and just seeing him go attack. He actually nearly did his 70 TDM challenge using the dingo with the laser sight and quick draw, which was just hilarious to watch. The score streaks that it gives you are absolutely mental. It's like it gave me um, the sniper rifle. Uh, with uh, with the MR6, I think it is, and it gave me UAV, DART, and GI unit. And I was just thinking to myself, right, I might get a UAV if I'm lucky, 
I'm definitely not going to get no doubt on that. I can definitely tell you now that I won't get no doubt on it. But um, the other nice thing that I found out as well was that I actually started to enjoy using the XR2. Now, I'm not a massive, huge fan of burst rifles. Um, I tend to find that I play a little bit more, well, a hell of a lot more passively with burst rifles because just because of the way that they fire, I'm very much a run and gun type of person, so I tend to find that using uh, SMGs or, or assault rifles, particularly if you've got a stock and quick draw on them, a little bit better for me. Um, automatic firing uh, assault rifles, that is. Whereas with the burst rifles, not quite as good. But I played two games with the XR2 set up, and I think in one game I got 33 and 10, and I think in the second one I got 27 and 5. So that's not too bad at all. Anyways guys, like I said, check it out, type into the Google search bar, Black Ops 3 random class generation, and you've got to go with what it tells you to do, and just have some fun with it, it's nice just to change from the norm and break things up a little bit. That's going to do it for this video guys, I do hope you've enjoyed it, if you have please don't forget to click that like button, if you are new to my channel please also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you ever so much for stopping by, and this has been OG Gibbon, and we are out of here. Peace!